Hello friends, welcome back to the Python programming session. In the earlier session, we had seen about the entry methods in tkinter. And in today's session, let's move ahead with the frame widget in tkinter. So what is a frame widget? A frame widget acts like a container which helps in organizing and grouping other widgets in a better and friendly manner. We can create multiple frames in the same TK Inter screen. It's nothing but a rectangular area in which widgets can be arranged with respect to each other. So it's basically a container wherein which holds other widgets. So it can group, organize other widgets because it's a container type of a widget. And we can have multiple frames in the same TK Inter screen. Like we can have a frame at the top, at the bottom, left, right. So how many ever frames we want, we can have it in the TK Inter screen. Its shape is rectangular and it can hold the widgets and the widgets can be arranged with respect to each other. So the syntax for the frame widget is, first is the master, which is nothing but the main window and it has got many options. Some of the important options available are BD, that is the width of the border. Default is 2 pixels. We can increase the uh, border width by making it more than 2 pixels. Then we have the background color of the widget, that is the background color of the frame widget. Then we have the height of the frame widget and we have the width of the frame widget. So these are some of the important options available under the frame widget. And now let's look into one of the code example and see how the frame widget works in tkinter. So for this let me open, let me show you how the output looks like. So now when I run this particular code, see this is the label which holds frame widget. So it is holding the text and the one in blue or cyan color is the frame and it's a container which holds the button widgets. It need not be the button widget, it can be any other type of widget as well like label widgets or entry boxes, any widget it can be, it can hold. So it's basically a container. Container is something in which you can pour some other items. So this is the container and here I'm pouring button widgets. So it is holding the button widgets. It's basically acts like a container. Now button 1, button 2, button 3, I want it in the top frame. So Instead of telling I want to place it in the main window, I can say place it in the top frame. Button 4, button 5, button 6, I want it in the bottom frame. So instead of telling it place it in the main TK inter screen, we can say place it in the frame, bottom frame. So all this while we were placing the widgets on the main TK inter screen. But with when we want to arrange or group some of the widgets then we can use the frame and we can place the widgets within the frame so this is how my this is the output for which we are going to write the code okay or let me take this so from tk enter import all win equal to tk then let me say win dot geometry let me give it as 300 pixels x by 150 pixels and now let me create a label widget so let me show you the output so this is the frame widget is nothing but a label widget. So let's create this particular label widget. So 
let me say label 1 equal to label place it in the main window text equal to frame widget text is equal to frame widget and font equal to Arial comma 60 and now let me pack this label widget so let me call label 1 dot pack label 1 dot pack so our label that is frame widget will be displayed on the TK Inter screen. Now let's create our frame 1 and name it as frame. So for this let me say frame equal to frame is the met, uh, function which creates the frame. So where should I place this particular frame? It should be within the main TK Inter screen background color I give it as cyan pad X that is in padding is 100 pixels pad Y is also equal to 100 pixels so I'm placing it in the main window the frame color is cyan pad X is 100 pad Y is 100 now let me say frame dot pack So if I don't give any site, it will be packed at the top of the TK Inter screen. So we have the frame, this particular frame in cyan. It is having pad X is equal to 100. So this pad X is 100 pixels. Pad Y is 100 pixels. So pad X, pad Y is 100. Color is cyan and it is placed in the main window. And when I'm packing it, I'm not specifying any site parameter. So by default, it will place the frame to the top of the screen, TK Inter screen. Now let me create another frame. Call it as bottom frame. Equal to frame widget. Place it in the main window. Background color equal to cyan. Pad X equal to 100. Pad Y equal to 100. And then let me say my bottom frame. Dot pack. And side let me specify it equal to bottom. Because I want to have the frame at the bottom of the TK Inter screen. So another frame in cyan color with pad X equal to 100 pixels. Pad Y equal to 100 pixels gets created and it will be placed at the bottom of the TK Inter screen. Now within the first frame I want three buttons that is button 1, button 2 and button 3. So let me create the buttons. Button 1 equal to button. Where should I place? It should not be in the window because I am placing this particular button within the frame the frame which is at the top so the frame the one which is at top is called frame so I have to say place it in the frame comma text equal to button 1 button 1 foreground color I am giving it as equal to red so it is on the frame it is placed within the frame text is equal to button 1 and foreground color is equal to red now I have to pack this particular button so button 1 dot pack within the frame I want it to be placed to the left so I am giving side equal to left comma pad x equal to 10 pad x equal to 10 
So within the frame, it is placed to the left and pad x is equal to 10. So this outer padding, which is pad x is equal to 10. And similarly, let me have my button 2 and button 3. So let me have my button 2. Text for this button is nothing but button 2. Even it is placed to the left, left of the previous button, pad x is equal to 10. Then I am having my button 3, which is again placed within the frame. Text is equal to button 3, foreground color is red. So now if I run the particular code, Okay, let me close this. Now if I run this particular code, I get my frame widget and the top frame which is having button 1, button 2 and button 3. Now let's place the vid uh, button widgets in the bottom frame as well. So there are four, 3 buttons in the bottom frame. So let's take these 3 buttons once again. Call it as button 4 and the frame in which it has to be placed is bottom frame. So let me give it as bottom frame. Text is equal to button 4. Place it at the side equal to left means to the left of the bottom frame. And next I am having my button 5. which is again placed in bottom frame. So I'll make it as bottom frame. So button 5 is the text. Foreground color is red and it is again placed to the side equal to left. Then I'm having my button 6. Which is having the text equal to button 6. Foreground is red. Again, it is placed to the left, pad x is equal to 10. So now when I am running this particular code, let's see what the output is. Okay, button 6, it should be bottom frame. So I have to make it as bottom. Let me close this run it again so this is my label widget this is one of the frame and this is the bottom frame the second frame in the first frame i am placing or organizing or grouping my widgets button 1 button 2 button 3 so i am grouping it within the top frame and in the bottom frame i am having button 4 button 5 and button 6 so in this way with the help of frames we can group or arrange the other widgets in a friendly and compact manner. So let me walk through the code once again. There is a labeled widget called frame widget. So this is the label widget which is called frame widget which is packed at the top. Then I am creating two frame widgets that is frame and bottom frame. It is having background color is cyan. So this is the color, the cyan color. Pad X, pad Y are 100. So this pad X is 100, pad Y is 100. Then I am having my create, uh, then I am creating my bottom frame, which is again placed in the main window. Color is cyan, pad X is 100, pad Y is 100. And the side for this is bottom. So this frame is placed at the bottom. If I say side as left, it will be placed to the left. If I say side as right, it will be placed to the right. And within my frame 1, I am having 3 buttons. That is button 1, button 2, button 3. So button 1, button 2, button 3. Instead of placing it in the main window, I am placing it in frame. So these 3 buttons are placed in the frame. And I am giving a pad x, pack equal to pad x 10. 
So this particular space that is pad X of 10 pixels will be given out between each of the buttons. Then I am having button 4, button 5, button 6 which is placed in the bottom frame. So this is the bottom frame. So I am placing button 4, button 5, button 6 and even this has got some spacing in between. The buttons are spaced with some distance with the help of pad X in the pack geometry manager. So this is how with the help of frames we can place the with other widgets in a compact and a friendly manner. So hope so friends it is clear for you. The frame widget in TK Inter. So the frame widget it acts like a container which helps in organizing and grouping other widgets in a better and friendly manner. So here we saw with the help of the button widgets how it was placed in a friendly and better manner. And we also saw that we can create multiple frames. In this example we created two frames in the same TK Inter screen. Its shape is rectangular in which widgets can be arranged with respect to each other. So within the frame we can adjust or arrange the widget with respect to each other. Important parameters are background color, border width, height and width of the frame. Hope so friends it is clear for you. If you have any doubts please do reach to me out in the comment section. If you like my video click on the like button and please do subscribe to get notifications of my new videos. Till then see you. Bye bye.